Hello everyone, it is I, Mike V, and welcome to part 6 of Video Poker Genius. Today we are going to play a session of Joker Poker. Okay, here is the pay table that we will be using today. Uh, this is a 1775 Joker Poker machine, which has a return of 98.44%. And... The difference between paid tables is usually displayed on the four of a kind, and occasionally also on the natural royal flush as well. As you can see in this version, a royal flush pays a much higher 4,700 credits on a five credit machine, as opposed to the usual 4,000. The best pay table, which can only be found in the outskirts of Vegas, is a full pay joker poker, which pays a total of 100 on a five coin bet for four of a kind, which is a 27 five pay table. The Royal Flush would pay 4,000 in that case, and the return is 100.65%. Uh, if you thought the full pay version of Deuces Wild was difficult to find, this one is much more difficult to find. Uh, and then you've got the 1875 version, which pays 4,700 for the Royal. Uh, that brings it above 99%. If you could find that machine, that's not too bad. And this is a Kings or Better game. There are a lot of variants of, jo of Joker Poker with uh, two pair of better ones and aces or better as well on here. Well, we're going to be playing the standard Kings or Better version of Joker Poker. Uh, the strategy is not intuitive. And what we're going to do is we're going to play 100 hands of a practice session here. And then I'm going to give you five scenarios. Uh, kind of like the quiz format I did back on that uh, back on part one with jacks are better I'm gonna be bringing that back here for this uh, part because there's a few important ones uh, There are quite actually a lot of uh, Deviations you'll need to learn, but I picked out what I thought were the five most important I'll be showing those off at the end of the video and who knows we might actually come across them here in these hundred hands So without further ado, let's begin Okay, so we've got we've got four to a straight. Okay, remember you need a pair of kings or better to 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 win here, not jacks. Uh, there is no straight possibility here, and the queen's not useless. I mean, the queen is useless, so we'll just discard them all. Uh, king only. A uh, pair of nines. I got two pair. Uh, ace and jack. We hold the jack because it's suited. Two to a royal. Pair of eights. Three eights. Yeah, three of a kind pays ten in this game because of the added joker. Uh, we do not go for gut shots in this case, so we don't hold a 6, 7, 8, 10, and I don't see anything else to hold, so we'll discard all. For those new to this series, you can see I'm playing in training mode, which shows the traffic light in the bottom right corner of the screen, showing how I play. The, the top right will show the total of hands and total played correctly, and percent of correct hands played. So, we got three fives. Ah, full house. Ace and queen, because it's suited. Pair of fours. Uh, okay, um... I think we go for the flush. Yeah. Three to a natural royal. Always go for that. Even with a pair. Uh, okay, we got the joker. I think we go for uh, a straight draw here. No, we don't. Okay, this is one of those, those difficult ones where you actually hold the joker and a middle card. This is actually... Not a good move that I just did. So in this case, the game is telling me to hold the Joker in the seven. This is actually one of the tricky ones out there. Um, but since there were so many 
five cards, it got me got cut off a bit. Uh, so yeah, the correct play according to uh, the correct strategy here is to hold the Joker in the seven for this. I'll go into more detail in my Alyssa scenarios. Um, uh, this is a nothing. Pair of twos. And we got an ace. Okay, it's either two fours of the stream. I'm going to see what happens here. It's two fours. Yeah. Uh, I think we still go for the flush. Yep. Two pair. Uh, we go for flush. Uh, two fives. Uh, king. Uh, Ace and King. Yep. King. Uh, two pair. Ace and King. Pair of tens. Jacks. Uh, straight. Um, base, yeah. Two queens. Two fives. Ah, oh, four fives. Oh, we got a four of a kind this session. That's nice. Uh, king. Mm, this is junk. Pair of fives. Two pair. Uh, king queen suited. Couple of fours. Three fives. A uh, couple of nines. Couple of twos. Uh, Ace or king? No, it is not. Joker Poker is the only game where two to a royal consisting of ace and ten are playable. In uh, many other ver versions, like jacks are better, you usually don't hold this combination, but in this game you do. So there's an example right there. Um, open ended straight draw. Ace and king. Couple of tens. I gotta remember this is kings are better, so nothing here. My computer's slow today for some reason. Uh, ace only. Couple of sixes. And we're halfway done. Hey, Joker. Yeah, straight. And we've got the flush. Draw, and we got the flush. Okay, this is another example here. All right, so just like previously, where I hold the Joker seven. Um, in Joker poker, you never hold the Joker alone. There is usually never an instance. It's usually a Joker plus some middle card. 
And that middle card is dependent on a, a few factors. In this case is probably going to be either the 8 or the 9. Uh, we're going to try the 8. And no, it wants me to hold the 9. I think the clue here is that uh, you're looking for either a 7, 8, or a 9 to hold. And if there's both, choose the one that doesn't have any... Uh, uh, it doesn't require discarding of the same suit. So in this case here, you don't hold the 8 because you're discarding the 3 of spades, so it's kind of like a flush penalty card. So you hold the middle card that does that, that in which you discard, the, the discards doesn't contain the same suit. So in this case, it's the 9. So it's a strange system. Not, a, not intuitive at all. But it is math, mathematically the correct move. Uh, two pair. Uh, ace and king. Pair of aces. Uh, straight flush draw. Uh, a couple of fours. Uh, two pair. Two pair. Two threes. Three threes. Uh, this is a nothing hand here. Three to a royal. Pair of aces. Same thing. Uh, two fours. Two nines. Two kings. Uh, nothing here. Oh, actually there is something here. I have not seen this before. <laughs> really? Uh, six and five. Hmm. I may need to look up a chart on this one at the end of my session here, but my software is telling me to hold a, a six and a five of spades. Okay. That is new. <laughs> um, straight draw. Uh, eights. Uh, nothing. Nothing here. Sometimes you never know what's going to pop up. <laughs> uh, a couple of threes. Uh, it's either the ace or the queen ten. We're going to find out. Oh, it's ace king. And I forgot to, to hold the king. Damn. Okay. <laughs> I am off track today. Straight flush. So the correct one was the Ace King. Uh, two pair. Um, it's either the Ace Queen or the Ace King. I'm making this incorrect so many times. All right. That's why I don't play Joker Poker. <laughs> it's usually not the best game in the casino anyway, but I know a lot of people like to play it. Uh, Alright, it's the Ace Jack of Diamonds that time. A couple of sevens. A couple of aces. 
Three threes. Um, nothing there. Alright, three aces. Two pair. My computer is slow. Uh, nope, nothing there. Ace. Tens. Aces. Uh, ace and queen. Queen jack to ten of hearts. Oh, almost. <laughs> Three fours. Uh, king queen nine of hearts. Three tens. Uh, ace. Two sixes. Last hand, three jacks. Can we get the fourth or the or the joker? Make it five jacks? No. Okay, I made six mistakes. Some were obvious, some were surprising. And um, I'm gonna go through the five scenarios now, and uh, I'm gonna bring them forward using the pick feature, as you can see here, where I could pick the next hand, and I could show it to you on my screen, and I could show you what the correct moves are. So these are five of what I consider important to uh, scenarios and I will cut the video and bring you back once I get the first hand set up. One moment. Okay guys I want to bring you back uh, to show you this first. Uh, this is the uh, uh, video poker strategy chart for Joker Poker that I pulled up from the wizardofodds.com and under the basic strategy exceptions, uh, left column is right play, you know, as opposed to the traditional play, which uh, this was the scenario we got during my session, two to a straight flush, uh, five and a six. And uh, apparently there are instances where, I guess if, <laughs> I guess if there's uh, no, if, there, if, there are, if the other three cards are like, well outside its range then it's best to hold it so this is like one of those rare exceptions to to the very basic uh playing strategy that's shown here so thought i'd bring that up and give you maybe a reason why uh, my software is set to hold it all right i'll get back with a uh, get back to you now with the first hand of the uh of the session of the uh of the scenarios All right, hand number one. We've got a straight with uh, four clubs. Tell me what do you think the best uh, the best uh, cards to hold is in this scenario. I'll give you five seconds. You can pause the video if you need more time. All right, the best strategy is to discard the five of diamonds and hope for the straight flush. And, uh, in Joker Poker, uh, the va the value of a straight flush is basically the same as it is in a non wild card game. As you can see, a straight flush pays 250. So, and because with the added Joker, that actually increases the the the, the straight flush's expected value, uh, especially the the draws towards a straight flush. Uh, so that would make it. Even better than 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 a than a pat straight in this scenario, but uh, it's still better to hold a flush, assuming you don't have a joker. It's still better to hold a a pat flush than it is to go for a straight flush in in most cases. But you still have to go for for it if you have a pat straight. Four to a straight flush, and uh, is still better than. Than, uh, than, than a pat straight, as you can see. Yeah, it's difficult to give up, but 
you want maximum uh, the maximum return, you have to go go for those chances. All right, let's get to hand number two now. All right, here is hand number two. Take a moment, pause the video if you need to, find out which are the best cards you think you should hold. Okay, the best cards here is once again getting rid of the uh, the made hand here. In this case, the pair of aces and going for the royal flush. The value of the royal flush in this version of Joker Poker and this video poker variant in general, it's forty seven hundred instead of the typical four thousand. That is enough to make three to a royal better than a pair of aces, which is uh, not heard of in other video poker games but in this situation it is the best hold got to give that up for a chance chance of the big one okay here is hand number three take a moment pause the video if you need to see if you can find the best cards to hold Okay, the best cards to hold. Four to a straight flush with a joker and no gap is better than the pat flush. But let me let me be clear that only do this if there is no gap in the straight flush. So if there if for example this eight is a seven instead, then you hold the flush. But since it is uh, since there are no gaps and you have a joker, uh, hold the uh, four to a straight flush with the joker and no gaps, and it's better than holding the flush. Software tells me it is true, and the chart tells me it's true, so that's the best hold. Okay, here's hand number four. We've got a king of clubs, a joker, a five of hearts, six of hearts, and a jack of diamonds. Uh, pause the video if you need to, see if you can find the best cards to hold. Alright, the best cards is the Joker, the 5, and a 6 of hearts. It's 3-2-A uh, straight flush, with uh, with one of the cards being the Joker. That's better than holding the, holding, uh, the Joker and the King for the, the guaranteed 5 credits for Kings are better. Uh, most... Uh, three to a straight flushes, including a joker, with no gap, and a few, and a few of them with one gap, are better than than the joker king choice. Uh, not all, but most of them in this particular case. So, in this case, holding the holding holding that hand, holding those three cards is the best choice. Let's get to our last one. All right, here is the final hand. We've got what appears to be a trash hand here with just the Joker. Uh, pause the video, see if you can find out what are the best cards to hold. Okay, if you've been watching the session uh, and paying attention, you have noticed that the, we've had something similar in the past. Uh, you never hold the Joker alone in this game. Never. Uh, you will usually hold the Joker in either a 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, or 5. So it has to be a card in the middle. And that made this one easy, meaning that the only middle card that is available is the 8. So the Joker and 8 are the best, is the best cards to hold. Um, if there was, say, a 9 of clubs in place of this queen... Or let's let's make it a nine of hearts instead. Nine of hearts in place of this queen, and this four was a spade. The same same suit as this eight, and you would actually hold the nine. So, hopefully that's a bit clear. Um, maybe I can give you another example, but uh, in this case here, yeah, the computer tells me that that's the correct hold. Uh, but actually, while I'm here, I can give you guys a bonus hand. Um, so let's see, Joker. Eight. We'll make the four of spades. We'll do a nine of diamonds and and say a, a two of hearts. So probably the best choice here is the Joker and the nine. 
And it does tell me that it's the right move uh, because the 8 has a similar suited card. So holding the 8, you're just discarding a similar suit gives you a lower chance of a flush. So so you want to hold the middle card that ha that that doesn't have any other cards being discarded from the same suit. Hopefully I hopefully that's clear. Uh, it's clear what I'm saying here, but that's basically what it's asking for. So so when you get in a situation like that when there's a joke joker and doesn't appear to be nothing else to hold, there is. It's usually a middle card. Uh an offsuit middle card, you know? <laughs> Alright. So, that's it for this session. I hope you learned something. hope you enjoyed it. I've certainly learned something. And if you enjoy the video, we could leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and uh, you can leave a donation and, and cryptocurrency if you happen to have it. Uh, I always put those, those QR codes at the end of the video. And uh, I've got some big announcements coming up la uh, uh, later on in the next uh, couple of weeks, so stay tuned for that. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to hear more about it when I do more uh, sessions on video poker and other casino games, as well as online poker sessions, which I got a big announcement regarding that as well. So uh, stay tuned for that. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Uh, take care and go make it happen. Oh! And I forgot one thing, the next, uh, I forgot to mention again, the next uh, episode, part 7, will be on Triple Double Bonus, so, so make sure you stay tuned for that, so, alright, take care, and uh, go make it happen.